Hello and uh, welcome to some more Outward. I have uh, yeah done a little bit of uh, inventory management since the last episode, but uh, yeah, nothing, nothing else. And yeah, I was thinking that uh, since we spent all of our money in the last episode, maybe we should. Uh, Head out and see if we can find uh, yeah some easy loot. See if we can yeah earn some of that money back, I guess. So yeah, that uh, that's what I was thinking we could do in this episode. So yeah, we will head out and uh, yeah, we will visit. Some places, at least I think, is uh, easy to go and grab some loot. And uh, yeah, we will take it from there. And yeah, at the same time, I guess we will try out our runes. And uh, yeah, we will see if I can remember the different combinations. So yeah, that will probably be interesting. So yeah. Let's uh, let's head outside. So first, I was thinking we will head back towards uh, Shersnis, and uh, yeah, look, take a look at that uh, cave over here. There should be some ghosts, yeah, inside the cave and outside, I guess. But uh, yeah, we should have, yeah, some easy ways to deal with them, since we have uh, the runes. So yeah, that will probably be at least one of the easiest ways to get uh, get your hands on some extra loot in this area. And yeah, I guess as uh, if we will, if we meet, meet some of the bandits as well, I guess we can deal with those two. Actually, let's see if I remember. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I forgot. I don't have kick anymore. <laughs> Get some protection is uh, probably needed. Yeah, a bit messy, but uh, yeah, not too bad. And yeah, we should probably get some uh, mana region started. And uh, yeah, should probably use. Uh, our weapon way less than I have done so far. Yes, we can see if we can actually. Let's uh, try something. I believe this should uh, increase our damage with the trap. Maybe. Or maybe not. Much easier. And uh, yeah, almost forgot. We should probably do this as well. Kind of an easy way to get back your mana. To 
So yeah, we will head over the top here and uh, shouldn't be too far away from that uh, first cave we are going to explore. It's yeah, a really small cave, so Guess we should deal with this uh, ghost, uh, ghost as well, since uh, yeah they have a kind of decent loot, and uh, yeah they are really easy to deal with, since yeah they take a lot of damage from that trap. Let's grab this as well. There should be a chest around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Another mining pick. We'll probably need that. the light as well. We have another ghost over there. Let's have a look in here first. We are getting some more mana stones, and uh, yeah, I think we will save that. Don't really need it right now. So yeah, let's head inside here. I believe there should be a couple of ghosts and uh, an elemental in here. And uh, yeah, we should try to kill both of the ghosts, I guess, with uh, one trap would be nice. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. And uh, yeah. I don't know if uh, that elemental will take. So, yeah. Doesn't take a lot of damage from uh, the trap. It might be easier just to use our weapon. And uh, yeah. We can actually heal as well with the rune magic. We need to have the protection spell active but uh, yeah that's definitely a thing let's see if uh, yeah we got some nice loot some more hackmite I believe we should have uh, enough now but uh, yeah if we get some extra, that's nice too. That's some easy extra money. And yeah, we will pull this. This will open a gate in another dungeon. We will visit a bit later. So let's see, there's probably a ghost over here, yeah, or a soul, rather. And 
Okay, and let's break down some cloth. Guess we will do that as well. Yeah, that one too. Why not? Okay, so far so good. I think we got everything that's inside here. Yeah. So yeah, I guess we will head back out. A small little nice cave. And uh, yeah, if you are using rune magic, really easy to clear out. So yeah, we have a soul over there. So let's cast the protection spell. And uh, I guess we will recast the light spell. Anything else? Yeah, let's... why not? Cast a couple of goons as well. And then we will refill our mana. More or less at least. So yeah, there's a cabin or a hut on the other side here. I think we will have a look at. And uh, yeah, probably deal with this one as well. Yeah, need to be a bit faster, I guess. We can get some health region go going. There we go. That should be okay, I think. Looking for some uh, skeletons or souls, but yeah, I don't think there's anyone around here. But yeah, guess we will be okay anyway when we get our armor we should uh, yeah reduce our mana costs so that will help as well so yeah here we have a uh, cabin I was talking about or tent actually I guess we will have a look inside. I guess we will clean up some of that burnt stamina and health. And yeah, I think there should be one red ghost inside. So yeah, shouldn't be that much trouble a bit uh, small space to fight but uh, except from that shouldn't be that much of a big deal actually and yeah a decent amount of loot actually we got a better lantern as well or actually we should put that on uh, the backpack, I guess. There we go. So yeah, that's uh, all that's in here. Except, except from uh, the corpse here as well. So I guess with some luck there's actually two swords we can use in here. Yeah. Wondering why our ruins got dark, but uh, yeah, we need a lexicon, so <laughs> that's why. 
Let's see. I guess we will rebuff the protection. And uh, yeah, then we will consume the soul. Okay, let's uh, have a little look at the map, maybe. We should be around here, I think. I think that little dot there is the tent. And uh, yeah, I was thinking we should make our way over to this island. And then yeah, there should be a cave over here. And uh, yeah, inside that cave, we have opened a gate now with that lever in that uh, first dungeon we were in. So yeah, we will head over there and uh, have a look inside. But first we should probably look inside here. Have some more bandits over here. Guess we can deal with those as well. See the island we are heading for. It's not so easy to see that it's an island just now, but uh, yeah, it's straight ahead of us there. I think we will, yeah, follow this road a bit before we go down and go over that bridge, probably. Uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, there might be a chest around here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Yeah, let's grab everything. A lot of green mushrooms. Let's have a look in here as well. Yeah, this we won't probably. down here and uh, yeah we can do some fishing put some blue sand as well that's nice and yeah I think we can sneak our way through here So yeah, just over on the other side there, or where we are heading. Hmm. 
more or less just behind that uh, dead tree we can see straight ahead of us. This is where the entrance are. If I no, actually, it uh, is the dead tree actually. Yeah, I guess we need to deal with this guy now. And yeah, he can be a bit scary actually. There we go. Easy way to deal with that guy. And uh, yeah, we are a bit low on mana right now. And yeah, we don't have any mana region either, so guess we can eat one of those, that should help, and one of those as well. So yeah, need to pay a little bit more attention and uh, yeah, craft more food probably. But uh, yeah, if we do that, I guess we should be okay. So yeah, and that's why we should grab all the fish we can see. Believe there's a fishing spot on the other side here as well. Or maybe not. Yeah, here we go. Should have an extra fishing harpoon. So we will drop the broken one. Anything else we don't want to carry along with us? Nah. Should be good for now. Okay, let's see about entering this uh, cave or dungeon. Okay, a bit dark here, so... Let's summon some light. I really like that light spell. <laughs> That's yeah, probably one of the best spells in the game. Probably not, but yeah, I like it a lot. So, I think we are good to go actually. Let's put down a safety trap. And uh, there should be... Yeah, there we go. And yeah, remember you can only have one trap at a time, so don't try to place, put down another one before, yeah, the first one has uh, exploded. And yeah, let's grab this loot. And yeah, this is the gate that we opened in the other dungeon. And yeah, we will get some ghost eyes. And we will get this weapon. Merton's fire poker. Not really that good of a weapon, but it's quite fast. And uh, yeah, it does some fire damage as well. But uh, yeah, I think we will probably sell it. Let's see if we can find some souls. Might be another one here actually. Yeah, even a fourth one, yeah, so shouldn't have uh, a hard time getting your mana back, there's uh, yeah, a lot of souls around.
Guess we should go back and uh, refill our mana. There we go. And yeah, I guess we can leave it behind. You never know. So yeah, also not a really big dungeon, but a small, easy one. So, what to do next? I think we will head over this bridge again, back where we came from. And yeah, continue along this path and uh, have a look at another tent. That's yeah, I believe there's actually no enemies in it. So yeah, you can go just go over here and pick up all the loot, and <laughs> no one will stop you. Nice, so more blue sand. That's some easy money. I think I saw some bandits up here. Maybe not. Yeah. Should uh, keep an eye on our stamina as well. Yeah. Guess not. doing yeah we have some room still oh and we have some clean water as well There's much more of interest around here. Oh, we have a couple of enemies. Guess we can try and deal with those as well. Yeah, they are a bit tougher, I guess, but yeah. Uh, Shouldn't be that much of a problem. I want to try and stay away from that uh, cloud thing they are doing. Okay, let's see if we walk into the middle of all of this and are extremely lucky. Maybe we will find soul. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> guess we will manage without them. There might be one inside this tent. And uh, yeah, don't think there's any enemies in here. But yeah, I guess we'll find out. Guess we will grab, uh, yeah, all we can grab probably. Yeah, probably don't need that shield. And uh, yeah, there might be one soul in here. Yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, let's take uh, off the protection as well. Okay, 
guess that's all that's in here and uh, yeah you can sleep here as well there's a bed it's uh, actually starting to get dark so yeah maybe we should uh, start to move towards Berg again I yeah I believe we are over here so yeah we will go through here and uh, yeah back to Berg I think and yeah I would like to see if we can deal with these creatures and uh, yeah let's run away from that please at least I will deal with that big guy Doesn't do that much damage. So we actually need to drink a potion, I guess, if we want to completely take him out. Okay, that uh, might not be enough, I think. We will try to do. Come on, do use the weapon. The last bit. There we go. And uh, yeah, of course, we got a disease as well. Hopefully, he has some decent loot at least. Yeah, not really. <laughs> so yeah. It's uh, yeah, not the most most powerful spell, but it's really good considering how easy it is to use, I guess. And uh, yeah, don't have any mana region either, so guess we can drink that to take care of some of the burnt stamina. At least we are getting to fill up our backpack. That's always nice. <laughs> yeah. So let's see if we can find our way back to Berg. It's, uh, yeah, already dark. Should be some palladium around here as well, I think. Let's grab that. Ah, here we go. And yeah, nice. We got a medium ruby as well. Is it a rich iron vein? Yeah, it is. Should definitely mine that. And uh, yeah, I believe there's a chest down here as well. Ah, here we go. Nice. Actually, I think we can uh, cure that uh, disease we got. There we go. Now we are poisoned instead. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think we will be good. Don't want to use our only antidote to deal with that. Shouldn't be that 
strong of a poison. Yeah, let's stay clear of the bandits. But uh, yeah, I would like to do some fishing if we can. And uh, yeah, a lot of um, burnt stamina as well. There we go. Any more fish on this side, maybe? No, guess not. So yeah, I think we will head back to Berg. And uh, yeah, I think this will be the end of the episode. I will do some man inventory management between episodes, but uh, yeah, nothing else, I think. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, a special thanks to the people that like, subscribe and comment to my videos. Really do appreciate it. So thank you, thank you. Really nice of you. As always, I'm JT. Take care and bye bye.